Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and I've got another uh, episode of my 2013 NCAA legal stringing videos for certain heads, but patterns for you guys, so you can string them just like this. Um, so today I've got the Nike CEO. Uh, this is an X spec head, so three inches and six and a half inches. Uh, one of my favorite heads on the market. You guys all know I love Nike, and uh, it's got a really nice face shape, very resemblant of an X spec uh, surgeon. So the Surgeon 10 is a little narrower up here. Uh, this has a very similar flare and face shape to the Surgeon 10, and I really, really like this head. Uh, one of my most favorite heads if I was going to play uh, with an x spec head, it'd probably be this or the Rabel X. So uh, we'll get into the pocket a little bit. Uh, this one was sort of built as an all-around pocket, could adapt to a midi, uh, even a defenseman, or an attackman, but it's probably more geared toward midis. Um, so what we have here is 15 millimeter East Coast Mesh. I realize two colors isn't legal for the NCAA, but I just mostly strung this head as a demo, and uh, the mesh doesn't matter. It could easily be replaced with white. Um, so it's a mid pocket, a deep mid pocket, with a really really tight channel. The CEO allows for um, a really tall, you know, really defined channel, which is something I really like about it, and that's due uh, to the face shape and the flare. So that's why this is one of the heads I recommend. Um, an aggressive face shape and aggressive flare are going to be pivotal for, pivotal for the new string rules. So it's got a really nice channel which is going to give you that hold up in that channel. Um, but the pockets move down a little bit so it doesn't catch on the shooters. Um, so this pocket is going to shift a little bit. You know, It's going to sit mid and uh, shift low a little bit, shift high a little bit. Um, I think that you can really crank some shots from the outside with this pocket. Uh, get really great hold throwing fakes and things like that. Uh, so this is overall a really nice pocket, and I think that a lot of that is lent to the, the tackiness and the softness of the East Coast Mesh. So I'm um, running down the pocket a little bit. I started with a, this is what people call a crown top string or a double triangle top string. Could easily just be replaced with a nine diamond, but I recommend the triangle because it's going to keep it uh, really tight up here. And then we've got uh, the shooter stuff you've seen me use before, uh, nylon on the nine diamond row, then a straight, skip one, a straight. And you can see, where's my measuring card? Um, with my measuring card that is legal under the new NCAA rules. And we'll check it with the ball on the back. Uh, also legal in that aspect. And uh, it's also legal in all aspects. So uh, that's good, perfectly legal. Shooters are legal, everything works. Um, so then for the pocket, I uh, really pulled it down tightly and then bunched it right in here to give you that really nice defined uh, mid pocket that's going to shift around just a little bit. Um, for the pattern, it's tie and interlock on the second hole right here, then a skip, interlock, skip, interlock, skip, interlock, then a one, a one, a two, a one, and a one with a, a kind of a long. Um, double bottom string on the next nine diamond row. So that's the pattern you're working with there. Um, really, really well performed pocket. I recommend this for just about any position. Um, good release, good whip, great hold. Uh, so this is a really functional pocket for the Nike CEO under the new rules. So anyway guys, I hope you guys use the pattern and can string up some heads with it. Uh, subscribe for more stringing videos and tutorials. Like this if you liked it and thanks for watching. Have a great day.